I rise today as a Texan, a constitutional conservative, and in strong opposition, not only to the amendments, but to H.R. 8, a bill that would impose so-called universal background checks and gut the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding gun owners throughout this country. We all mourn the loss of innocent lives from gun violence that have happened in my district and in those around the country. No family should ever have to endure such tragic and terrible unnecessary loss. But the truth is that this legislation does nothing to address the root causes of gun violence and may do little to actually prevent criminals from obtaining guns, as has previously been said during this debate. What will be prevented, though? Your ability to loan your neighbor a firearm if there are reports of break-ins. The ability of your suicidal friend or family member to ask you to remove your firearms from your home. Or if a colleague comes to you and says that they're trapped in an abusive relationship and scared for their life, you could face $100,000 or prison time for lending out your gun for self-defense. If we are going to affect real change, we don't need to tack additional restrictions on law-abiding citizens. We need to look at the root causes and have a transparent and open debate here to talk about mental health and the proper enforcement of laws that we already have. This is yet another example of federal overreach, another example of the erosion of our rights and a slippery slope that will strip all Americans of our Second Amendment rights as outlined in the Constitution. I urge my colleagues to vote no on the amendment and on the bill. With that, I yield back. The gentleman yields back.